Well, final preparations are being done on the Chicago Auto Show, which moves into McCormick Place for the next 10 days. The nation's largest car show opens to the public on Saturday. ABC 7's Ravi Bejwal is live right now with a preview. Ravi. Hey, Judy, good to see you from McCormick Place. It is ready to go. The cars are in here. Take a look behind me. They are buffed. They are polished. The giveaways are ready to happen. There's the big first night to first look for charity event happening tomorrow. But this is going to be the biggest and the best auto show in its 110-year history. And there really is so much to see. This year, the muscle is back, and it seems the operative design ethos is big, with a nod to technology. So it's a little bit of that electric assist and uh, battery pack for storage, but it's not a full-blown hybrid, so it's going to be less noticeable, but it is going to make a difference. With nearly a 1,000 vehicles on display from 36 manufacturers, pickups well represented, the 110-year-old show is the biggest in the country. And this morning, the new Ford Transit van was unveiled, foreshadowing a host of surprises for people who are looking to come in from the cold. It's a tradition. What do people do in February? They come to the Chicago Auto Show. Where else would you want to be? You know, you may have heard this week a little bit of snow coming in, a little bit of cold. Well, guess what? Here at McCormick Place, it's always sunny, it's always 70 degrees. Once inside, the moving pieces of art, from test tracks at Jeep and Kia, to the increasingly luxurious offerings from the brand, surprisingly at all price points, promise to captivate. It's a very, very fun way to either look at it from an aspirational standpoint. Some of these vehicles are a little bit more expensive, but at the same time, they're going to be what you're looking to be seen in. And your comfort zone when you're driving a vehicle you look for those details. This media day was full of press conferences from industry executives promising the motoring public products they'll want. And in the case of Volkswagen, returning now from the crisis that enveloped it over fraudulent emissions testing in its cars. We have to enter into the heart of the American market, into the SUV market, family oriented, all wheel drive, space. So we brought this um, Atlas uh, seven seater midsize SUV. It's funny. You call this mid-size SUV in Germany, it would be a huge car, you know. Van Line getting a lot of laughs at that enormous economic club of the Chicago luncheon this afternoon. I have noticed a lot of SUVs on the floor here. Everyone seems to be buying them, and so every manufacturer wants to offer them. So much more to tell you about what to expect at the 110th Auto Show here in Chicago.